60 Minutes Overtime. This week on 60 Minutes, we interviewed Bobby Quinn, an ex-Air Force weatherman who used his drone to capture the devastation of Hurricane Ian after driving into the center of the storm. It's kind of hard to, uh, to leave the spot. I felt like I needed to be there. Admittedly, what I didn't expect was how slow it was moving, and it was relentless. It was the hardest wind and rain I've ever seen. What was it like driving around early in the morning after the storm had passed? It was empty. I'm in a foot of water. Both main entrances and exits into Rotunda are blocked. The street lights were sideways. A lot of trees were down. A lot of power lines were down. Quinn runs a startup called PayPixel. He showed us photos and videos he captured of properties in Ian's path so homeowners could assess the damage remotely. What are we looking at here? This is the app that we put out to the public. You can go in and search an address that you're concerned about. We've taken all the images on the ground and we've uploaded them, like a post-event Google Street View, if you will. We've also taken post-event satellite imagery, which we're taken, is taken a couple days after the storm passed through, so we can see the damage from the air. So you're able to see it from above. We are. And from ground level. That's correct. So say we wanted to go to an address, we can zoom in and we can see here, this is post-event satellite imagery. So you see the debris field, you see the destruction in the back. Wow. Now you can turn off the satellite imagery and see the pre-event. This is what it looked like before the storm. How about that? So you've got the whole event, before, after, ground level. That's correct. How is this being used? So if you're a concerned family member, what this allows you to do is just go find out if you have images of your house available, the house of concern. It might be a family member or a loved one or a friend. Uh, and if that image doesn't exist from the ground, you can easily just request it. Someone says to you, I'd like to know what my house looks like now. And they give you an address. You go there and take a ground level picture for them. We try. I'll go to current requests. Uh, there's a lot more requests than we can handle right now. We need help. Go here. Go to Google Maps. We need more people that are willing to go take imagery for us. And it's a free thing. It's a voluntary thing. But you can see our current request right now in Florida. This is where we're at. You were not contracted by someone to go do this. You just went and did this, what, on spec? Absolutely. Yeah, this is something that I wanted to do because I've been through many storms and no one ever solves the problem of communication to uh, loved ones and homeowners that have evacuated outside. There's never a priority on getting data to those people and they're left being concerned and having feelings of hopelessness and uh, they're, they're thinking the worst. And we want to get them the imagery that changes that for them, puts them at ease, gives them peace of mind.